So this is the tool we will be using. It's called Stagewise, the front-end coding engine designed for production-ready code bases. With Stagewise, you can simply select any element on your website and make instant changes, whether it's replacing text, adjusting colors or modifying styles, everything can be done seamlessly. Some of its key features including understanding your website structure, working across multiple stacks like React, Next.js and many others and making real-time edits, it's already loved by developers worldwide, you will, you will quickly see why. Now let's get started. First is open your cursor app and navigate to extension pages. You will find extension pages right here. Just click on it and search for Stagewise and install the extension called Stagewise. If you already have it, then great. If not, just click on install and it will set up automatically. Once you install Stagewise, just open your project like I did here. And now I will show you my project first. So for that, I will run npm run dev command to view my project in local so as you can see here this is my current website running locally we are going to make some changes to it by simply clicking on anything we want to edit add or replace so let's get started so first step is just open your terminal and run the stagewise command you can find this one on the official stagewise website but i will also add it here on the screen so the command is npx stagewise at the rate of latest once you run this command your website will be reopened on a new port now we are ready to make any changes without needing to know much about the code you will notice a small chat like icon on the screen that's the stage wise prompt box just click on it for this demo let's start with footer i think we can improve the text there so we click on footer section and in the prompt box i will type replace this text with a good one and now hit send within a few seconds stage wise will automatically updates the content and you can see there it is it, the text has been replaced so you can see it's like very easy if you're using other ai tools you need to describe exactly what to replace which can be tricky but with stage wise it's simple as pointing clicking and confirming your change so let's try changing more things so at hero section i can see create beautiful invoice in minutes so let's change this so for that in prompt box i will write change this heading with something eye catchy headline or title since our website name is invoicely pro so maybe we need something like that so it replaced with like invoice like a pro still not good but we can replace it later it's just a demo to show you how you can do it even you can add buttons and everything you want on website you can even add backgrounds and everything so i think we should now try something complicated like we can even add background so first let's replace how it works section so for, so for how it works section right now it's in horizontal style but i think it will look more better if we make it in vertical style so i will just click on this section and type in the prompt box make the how it works sections vertical you don't need any special or advanced commands just basic english works after a few seconds the section changed to vertical as you can see here Next, I also want to change the button style. Currently, it's blue. Instead of blue, let's make it black with small shadow. So I will click on the button and type add shadow and change color to black. And there you go. You can see in like few seconds, the button is color changed to black. To match the design, let's change the icon and lines in how it works section as well. So I will click on that section again and I will type change icons and lines color to black and we will just wait for a few seconds here and you can see in the few seconds the icons and lines also turns black now the section looks clean and matches the new style let's so now let's try adding a gradient background to our hero section i will just apply the gradient here so i will write a prompt like add gradient section to add a gradient background to our hero section we will not select any section but we will just give it a prompt to add gradient background in our hero section and as you can see it may take a few seconds to a couple of minutes since this is slightly more complex task it need to edit the entire hero section code after waiting a bit you can see our hero section background is ready and it looks much cooler now the best part is we can customize everything whether it's button text or layouts just the way we want and this is a tool i just wanted to show you how powerful and simple it is we can use it in our daily workflow while building website or tools and it really saves a lot of time i personally use this all we need to do is just select element, type a prompt and make changes within a second. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any question, drop them in comments below. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.